So, uh, Monster X, Monster X, Monek collaborated with Lenstown, who actually also um, collaborated with Pony and wearing her lenses. Let's see real quick. Monster X created their own lenses with, like, each member individually created their own lenses with Lenstown, and they just came out two days ago, so it is fucking hot. I bought all of them, of course, and I'm gonna try them out. Um, they're all actually different sizes, like millimeters. So some will give you more of like an large effect. These retail for 25,000 won each. There was an event where if you downloaded the app or something, you can get a coupon for 5,000 won off. 25,000 won is about, I consider it like $25. It's around maybe $23 really, but um, it's almost like a one-to-one -one ratio for me. They last for one month. But to be honest, I feel like a lot, even for one day lenses, I have friends that if you take care of them really well, they'll last until like a week. But anyway, I don't condone overusing lenses. I think you should change them when, you, when they start feeling like weird or uncomfortable. There was also another event where you can get like photo cards of the members, um, but you have to like sign up like prior to that, but I was too late for that apparently. But there are posters. I think there were individual ones, but I got the group one. They're fucking handsome. Oh my God. Well, y'all remember on Instagram when, I, when someone tagged me in, it was like, they tagged me in a screenshot of Twitter where some random fake, it was obviously a fake account or like a role play account, I guess, of uh, Joy from Red Velvet. And they took a screenshot of my video where I had the Red Velvet lip tints and I was uh, showing the poster and, and the account was like, get your die hands off my poster. If, I honestly thought it was hilarious, so I posted a screenshot on my Instagram. I didn't put like any caption on anything because I, I thought it was like part of the humor. But then the same person that tagged me in that post on Instagram tagged me in another post a few hours later, I think. And like everyone would be like, can you please stop having your fans attack me? And I was just like, well, what? I didn't send anyone. And if they go, if there are people that go attack me, that's not my fault. Because <laughs> I didn't tell anybody to. And two, I think it's funny that they think that they can just post something like that. And not expect some. Again, it's, I, I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was funny, but apparently some people did not. So I don't know why they were surprised by, you know, some people reacting that way. And they also gave me two lens jetong um, lens cases. These are really good. These like I cannot fucking live without. If you are a lens wearer, you need the lens tweezers because it makes getting the lenses out so much easier. So you don't like get your fingers all over them. It's just hard to like dig, especially if you have nails or something. We're gonna start with the lens that Wonho made, and this is Street Gray. This is the little casing that they come in. This is what they look like. There's actually a little bit of red in the center. Should I do it like one side first so I can show the comparison? Ooh. I can show the day, well. My uh, gray, by the way, is minus three because I'm half blind. Is there much of a difference? I can't. A little bit. They're very like, they're very Wonho-esque because he wears gray lenses like all the time. These actually look a lot like the ones he wore for, um, for Beautiful. This one is mono gray. Um, this is the one that Min Hyuk made and uh, they're 13.2 millimeters. And these kind of remind me of Russian velvet lenses actually. These ones definitely have more of like an enlargening effect. Um, and I like them a lot actually. These are right up my alley. They, are they? The design is a lot more like smooth, if that makes sense. There's not as many like gradient colors in there. These are really pretty. Um, I like these. You can see that they do extend past my natural iris a little bit. So if you had to choose between the two gray ones, you, if you want a more enlarging one, then get these ones. This is Trendy Green, and this is the one that uh, Kihon made. And these are 13 millimeters. They have like a really, almost like lime green. Oh shit. A lot of these bright colors, they have to make super bright so that they show up on dark brown eyes. They almost look blue though. Like the outer ring is like a light blue, and then it goes right into my brown eyes. So it's a little bit more subtle. I guess I'm just so used to the um, Russian velvet ones that really change your eye color. And this is what they look like. <clears throat> Both in. I don't know if it's because I have like five lights on me right now. They kind of give you a kind of like sparkly look. These are cute. I don't think it matches my makeup though. These are Street Brown by um, Chonu and these are 13.4 millimeters. So these gonna be big. Yeah, that's there's definitely a difference there. It just made my eyes look a little bit lighter. Almost like more hazily. Mommy didn't do. 
I like these. I don't really think of Shonu as like a lens wearing type of person. Like he does, I don't really remember him wearing like really crazy lenses. So, so far the designs, I'm kind of like looking at each one and I'm like, oh, Yokshi, of course. Cause honey, lens down could have easily just given them some swatches and be like, just pick the ones that you like. They very much suit, I feel like, each member so far. I originally wanted to do this sitting in front of the window in the daylight, but one, it's late. With all the lights, I feel like you can see the colors a little bit better. This is Mono Burgundy, and this is the one that was made by IM. And these are 13.2 millimeters. Bruh, these ones are really red. But I feel like it would make sense because if it's on brown eyes, red plus brown, burgundy. I would imagine though that if you had blue eyes, they would look really purple on you. And this is what they look like on um, one eye here. Ooh, oh, she's oh, she's giving her mysterious vibes. These are actually really cool. Kind of giving me Children of the Corn, Rosemary's Baby, Exorcist vibes. It's actually kind of, I actually really like that. That would be really pretty in like maybe the fall. These are definitely um, lenses I would wear with certain types of makeup. I am one of those other members of the where I'm like, I don't think of it when I think of like contact lenses and Montex. So I think that was an interesting choice for him to go with burgundy. But it's nice to have a red in there because, you know, a lot of these are like gray or brown. That's what we tend to think of when uh, you think of like lenses that are popular in Korea. This is trendy blue. This is the one by Juhan. And this, these are 13 millimeters. So I think they're probably even more natural. Do you see that? They're actually like green on like one side. That's interesting. This is what they look like. They kind of look like a darker version of the Kihan ones. But overall, the effect is kind of subtle. I don't know if it's because I just put them in really well. I don't know if green will be facing one way on one eye and the, another way on the other eye. Even from like this distance, I don't think you can really tell. It's just like a very, very subtle like color shift. I kind of always see Juhan in like light brown lenses though. So I think it was an interesting choice for him to go with blue green, but these are pretty, I guess. <laughs> and last but not least, we've got Trendy Brown by everyone's favorite meme queen, Hyungwon. Um, these are 13 millimeters. Kind of just your standard brown lenses. Nothing crazy or anything. I accidentally put it into one eye without showing you the difference, but um, they remind me actually a lot of these lenses that I was actually gonna go buy again because I, I, I have a lot of like color lenses, but I always try to keep like a pair of like natural lenses for my like no makeup makeup days, like my natural days. And these are really similar to the ones I usually get. So um, if you want to support a bitch, but you're looking for a more, a more natural option, then I would probably go with these. Well, those were the lenses. Um, keep in mind, these were designed for brown eyes because they're being sold here in Korea. So they definitely had that in mind when they were creating these lenses. Uh, most companies obviously in Asia will have that in mind because they want the colors to show up on dark uh, colored eyes. Um, Everyone has different lens preferences. Um, I tend to lean more towards the blue and gray lenses, uh, brown on more natural days. Because I do wear eye makeup, I do like to wear lighter colored lenses because I feel like it balances it a little bit more. That's why I also color my hair light, is because if I have brown hair, it just doesn't, <clears throat> it looks like it, it's too much for my coloring. So I don't know if these need to be available online. You can buy them online in Korea, because I always buy my lenses like at the shop. I never buy them online. I never go on Pinky Paradise. I use to, but not anymore. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Now, if you're actually watching to the end, thank you. Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of two of these posters because I'm not... What am I going to do with three? So, um, the rules for that will be down below. You gotta find them. So only the people that actually watch to the end will see it. So, bye!